Hey guys, I'm back with another fucking video. Sorry that I haven't been here for the past month. I've been really busy. I've had to take some videos down, as you can see, because I had to run with my school, and that's all I'm going to tell you guys. I'm sorry if I offended anybody in the videos in the past. I deleted them, so it's all over with now, and I'm on to the video that I made today. So there is a show that I have recently fallen in love with called The Big Gay Sketch Show. If you don't know what it is, it's a show on Logo. The last episode was a couple years ago. I don't know if they're still continuing or making any new episodes, but it's a show called The Big Gay Sketch Show, and... The guy actors in it are so fucking cute. Oh my god. I love it because they're all gay and they're not just straight actors that I'm goggling over right now. They're actual gay actors and they're cute as fuck. And I'm going to tell you about one that I just have fallen in love with for the past many episodes I have seen. Paolo Andino. Paolo Andino, you are my number one boo. Yes, please. I'll show you a picture of him right here. Mm-hmm. I tap that. Actually, I would do more than tap that. So the video I'm going to do today is about gay stereotypes, specifically in the realm of listening to music. Now, guys, you know that if you look at gay guys on YouTube, you'll see guys that like Nicki Minaj or Lady Gaga or Belieber or One Directioner or Like The Wanted. Guys, I don't want to be all hipster, but I listen to bands at one. Nobody has really heard of that much and only about maybe a thousand people across the U.S. really know about. And two that I don't listen to the stereotypical music that gay guys and maybe like teenage girls listen to. I don't do that. I break gay stereotypes every day. One example, gays are stereotypically known to have a clean atmosphere. If you look at the room below me, you can't really see what my room looks like in my videos, but if you look at my floor, you would not be very pleased at my living atmosphere in here. But why is there music that only straight guys can listen to? That only gay guys and girls can listen to? That only lesbians and straight guys can listen to? Their stereotypes are just fucked up. They don't apply to anybody, and they certainly do not apply to me. I don't want to have to prove anything to anybody. I'm gay, that's who I am. Really, my sexual orientation, my ethnicity, who I am is really none of your business. We define labels, labels don't define us. Just like Lacey Green said, better think about that. And what? So one last thing that, you know, gets me really angry is my parents nagging me. I know they nag me for a reason, is that so I don't fail in school, is that so I'm on track with stuff in my life? Okay, but sometimes it becomes really excessive. It seems as though that my privacy is more and more being invaded. And I will show you some examples. Ooh, it's time to ask Joey about his homework. Joey, have you done your homework yet? No. Ugh, your room is looking disgusting. Will that be all, Mother? <sighs> Joey, are you done with your homework now? Yes, Mother. All right, can you take out the dishes? I'll do it later. You know, all I ask you to do is one thing. Take out the dishes. You know what I do? I come home from a full-time job, I cook, and I clean after dinner. All you have to do is take away the dishes. One simple thing. How is it so hard to take <laughs> away dishes? You know what? I'm your mother. You can't treat me like this, Joey. So that was an over-dramatization of what my mom does with me. You know, she does do that a lot. But, you know, the whole arguing thing at the end, I think, is over exaggerating a little bit and what my dad would say is over exaggerating is a redundancy it's not a real word well guess what dad it is a real word with me love you bye <laughs> 